Hello everyone, my name is Martin Knoche. I am from the Chair of Human Machine Communication at the Technical University of Munich. And in this talk, I'm going to present our recent paper, Octoplet Loss Make Face Recognition Robust to Image Resolution. Face recognition systems have numerous applications, but are typically designed to operate in controlled environments with high quality images. Current approaches are not robust against low resolution images, leading to significant performance degradation. Previous work showed that, for example, the popular ArcFace model with uh, ResNet 50 backbone network is particularly susceptible to low resolution images. We introduce a novel approach called octuplet loss fine tuning that improves the robustness of face recognition systems against image resolution while maintaining performance on high resolution images. Our main contribution is summarized as follows. We propose a novel loss function called octuplet loss that leverages four triplet loss terms to capture the relationship between high and low resolution faces. A fine tuning strategy is introduced, which can be easily applied to existing networks to improve their robustness against image resolution while maintaining comparable performance on high resolution images. We also demonstrate that fine tuning several state of the art networks with our proposed octuplet loss leads to significant improvements for cross- and low-resolution face verification on numerous popular datasets. The related work section of the research paper presents two main approaches to the problem of face recognition in low-resolution images, transformation-based approaches and non-transformation-based approaches. Transformation-based approaches aim to super-resolve low-resolution faces before matching them with high-resolution images. Non-transformation-based approaches aim to directly project facial features from arbitrary resolution images into a common feature space. The paper then goes on to discuss specific methods within each of these two broad approaches, including the use of deep convolutional neural networks, generative adversarial networks, and CMEs network structures. So first, let me briefly explain the triplet loss introduced by Schroff et al. Um, the basic concept is that you have triplets with um, one anchor image and one positive image, which shows the same identity as the anchor image, and one negative image, which contains a different identity. The triplet loss is then calculated as the sum of the distance between the anchor and positive image features minus the distance between the anchor and negative image features, plus a margin for each triplet in the set. T, considering only positive values. The sum is then divided by the cardinality of uh, the set T, and uh, this way the distance from the anchor to the positive image is minimized, while at the same time the distance from the anchor to the negative image is maximized. And uh, we need the margin to ensure a minimum distance between the positive and negative images. In our paper, we apply negative hard sample mining. We do this because because our batches contain exactly two images for each identity. So for each identity, we can find one positive uh, image and a lot of negative images. But uh, it is necessary to only select the hardest negative samples, and that is the one with the smallest distance to the anchor image. So what exactly is our octobit loss? Our octobit loss is built as the sum of four triplet loss terms, combining different image resolutions. Uh, so we have one triplet with only high resolution images, one triplet with only low resolution images, and two triplets with high and low resolution images. We achieve this by uh, synthetically downsampling the whole batch, and then we have also the downsampled variants of our images and can form those four triplets. We applied our proposed octuplet loss fine-tuning strategy to multiple existing approaches, and here you can see the face verification accuracy with and without our proposed fine-tuning. The models BTM, STM1 and STM2 are already trained to be resolution invariant. All remaining models are very susceptible to image resolution and show a decrease in accuracy for low resolution images. However, although the face transformer network tends to be more robust than structures solely based on CNNs. Its performance is still worse for very low resolution images. After fine tuning with our proposed octobit loss, all models perform significantly better on images with low resolutions, 
while maintaining the performance on high resolution images. As one can see, we can boost the performance for very low resolutions up to 32% for the ArcFace model, and we still achieve the same or even slightly better accuracy on the original LFW dataset. Taking a closer look on the overall best performing model, which is the Face Transformer, um, fine tuned with our octopolet loss, uh, we achieve state of the art results on the XQ LFW dataset which we consider the most realistic dataset in our experiments. In our paper, we also have broken down the results for each dataset separately, if you are interested. We also evaluated the performance of our approach for same resolution image pairs. That means both images have the same resolution. And uh, we report also the face verification accuracy for the ArcFace model um, fine-tuned with our octopet loss. And as you can see, we can improve the performance on low resolutions and maintain the performance nearly on the high resolution images. To make a fair comparison to other state-of-the-art methods, uh, we have evaluated the face verification accuracy also for 8 times 8 pixels, 12 times 12, 16 and uh, 32 pixels. So, and except for the 8 times 8 pixels, our method outperforms all other approaches. In conclusion, our paper presents a new method for improving the robustness of existing face recognition models against variations in image resolution. The method involves applying four triplet loss terms sim simultaneously to high resolution and low resolution images. This approach can be built on top of existing models and was shown to prove to improve robustness against image resolution without any significant loss of performance on high resolution images. The method was found to work well on the cross quality labeled faces in the wild dataset and was shown to be universally applicable to other popular datasets. An ablation study showed that all four triplet loss terms are necessary for superior performance and that the choice of distance metric and feature normalization is less important to the performance. Our future work will focus on reducing the amount of data needed for the octuplet loss fine-tuning strategy to reduce the training time. It may be interesting to explore if the octuplet loss concept should or could be beneficial in masked face recognition, which has some similarities to cross-resolution face recognition. Yeah, thank you very much for your attention and uh, I'm now available to answer any questions you may have.